Right guys, welcome back to Battle Brothers. We're about to dive into a barbarian fight with a bunch of reavers. First thing I want to do though is start training up this two-hander. I completely forgot that we had him for a while, so... Make sure you keep that on, you take this and that. Take the long axe off of Trigdor the Merciless. 58. Uh, and you swap for him. Like that, and then you take a shield just in case someone gets on you and we can't get them off you. That probably won't help you though. Uh, and you can take an axe in case someone gets on you. Actually, you've got 16 defense. You actually have a chance of staving them off if uh, fighting them with these idiots. Well, hopefully they'll absorb a bunch of damage and won't get any kills. We want heavy throwing axes. There we go. Well, that's good. Only one of them has javelins, apparently. Only one of them has throwing weapons. Two of them have their own weapons. Oh, three of them, okay. Okay. You're going to step forward and shield wall against the guy who's hidden. Oh no, he's probably going to go for him, so just attack. Kill it. Oh, here you go, your first swing and you missed. You want to go against him and just kill him instantly, definitely. And then go here and kill the dog instantly, definitely. The bird wolf can kill him and then stay there. Wildrick. Wildrick can step forward and wait. You can wait. You can wait. You can step forward and attack. Ugh. Forward and attack. Come on, guys, seriously. Stay there. Stay there. You can just hold your ammo. Behind the bush. Stab him. Ugh, didn't see that, I should have gone up. Didn't want him to be near high ground though, obviously. Uh, finish. That's really bad because they can rotate. So we need to kill this guy as quickly as possible. Two hits to the helmet. Good, hopefully he'll take the hits. Put a doggy out. Wait, no, you're a meat shield. Yeah, you can come up here and help. Shield wall. Hugo, we gave you a shield. Don't want you using it when this guy's here, though, so 37 and 37. Ish. Don't want him going up against a guy with high ground, really. So, step to here and wait. Finish, even. And step to there. You're going to go against the guy with again in high ground. And just come here. Good. Oh, he's fleeing now. Okay, he must have broken. We should see oh, he went for this guy. Are you kidding? He went for me instead of the fucking caravan hand, you prick. Good stun, good stun. Dare kill him. No, 
Nice stun, very nice. Off going there to block him so he can't step in and get a rotate. Double attack, get him off, kill him, go to there. <laughs> Fucker, you nicked the kill. You're not bleeding, you took a big hit, alright. We got any of the throwing axes. Oh, he could have attacked. I wonder if we got any of the throwing axes. Ah! <laughs> that guy's half dead, bleeding. He's just like, I'll take him. Get him, boys. Two. Good, we got two of them. Both of them. Exactly what we wanted, a couple of heavy throwing axes. Very nice, boys. So you've now got full heavy throwing axes and you've got two pairs of heavy throwing axes. That is really nice. Mace, you want to repair to full. All of these actually sell. You want to repair them because they sell for a lot. And we're still on the roads in between towns and stuff. Good two-hander gets attack, defense, and health. No, he needs resolve. What was the resolve roll? Terrible. Uh, actually he's rolled higher on health that time, so I'll take that. Attack, defense, and fatigue. Gets steel brow. Noob two-handed just got absolutely wrecked in that fight. Take this off. You take that. Swap for him, please. Or swap for him, either or. Can't do this guy yet, he's still un unwell. You're just a bit shit, so no one cares about you. We'll have the highest level guys that we're keeping over here. And then the sacrifice here, and then the shit bros here, and then the units we're training here. I doubt we'll need Meatbag, but we only pay him fucking six a day, and he's useful to keep around in case one of these noobs goes down, this meat shield or this meat shield. <clears throat> okay, what were we doing? We were coming to oh yeah, we were coming to Mooseburg, weren't we, to pick up more stuff. Check that for heavy throwing, check this for famed. Check this for cultists. Buy dogs. We've only got two of them. We need to keep replacing the dogs that we lose. Because we do lose them fairly consistently. Two there, three, four. Are oh, we going to have to come further? So, yeah, we have to go pick up more dogs. Uh, did I check the. I didn't know. 20, 40, 50 arrows. All good. What's the contract? Probably killing orcs, right? Patrol the roads to Weidher, Eulenrook, and Mooseburg. No, they're all the way up here, aren't they? Weidher, Eulenrook. So we're basically just going up there, killing anything we can kill, and coming back. How much is the pay? 69 heads per... 69 crowns per head, you bring about 30 total. That's... 
Seven is 2,100, basically just under that. We get about 2,000 crowns for doing that. Do we want to do that? What's here? Armorer and Taxidermist. No, we can go to the Taxidermist in Burgau if we want. On the way to Wickstadt, on the way to Wollenwach to the kennels. Let's go to Burgau. I'm not going to do that contract. It's pointless. You don't get anything unless you find stuff to kill, and sometimes you don't find anything to kill. And you get paid nothing. You just waste your time going up there. What does it pay? I accept. Holschlag. Two days to the northeast. The reason why I'm considering doing this is we've got to the point where... No, there's only a tavern and a Fletcher there. Although that might be famed throwing axes. I think I'm going to do it. We've got to the point where we can start buying famed gear. Which means you want to do caravan contracts to places which have weaponsmiths and arm armorers. Just to see if you can generate spawn a famed item. Which happens when you do when they get well supplied. We can go down south and buy dogs first and then come back and do that contract. Because it's only like up to there. So it's a quick one. It's one that might generate heavy throwing axes, which would be really nice. Uh, so there's no reason not to do it, basically. Wickstad doesn't actually have anything in particular that I like. It's just a good place to sell, usually, in the south. So I don't know why we came here. I think just to have a look. Yeah, there's nothing here. Tavern rumours. Fallen Keep. Not far west of here. That's full of treasure, but not necessarily a famed item. If it's not far west, it'll be on, like, in here kind of thing. I'm not sure we want to do that. We might check that out on the way back. Um, yeah. None of this is work worth doing, I don't think. Unless that's delivery to... No, that's Grunfeld. Grunfeld is all the way up here somewhere. Where the fuck is Grunfeld? Oh, it's there. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Let's just go to the kennels. Let's go by doggies. We'll go by doggies, come back, try and find Fallen Keep, and then after the Fallen Keep, we'll march to Bogo Healing, pick up that contract to deliver to Holslag. Holslag will hopefully have heavy throwing axes then, because it'll be well supplied. Oh, good. Buy all your dogs. 125 tools are super expensive here, but we don't need supplies. We're about to get to a place that gives us supplies. They're about to go do a quest that gives us provisions for the journey, so we don't need any more supplies yet. Is that all of them? Oh, there's two more. Cool. Back up to Wickstat and then west. West of Wickstat to find this castle. It's full and keep. Unusually large wolf pelt. Give you 500 crowns for it. No, we don't need money. We want the unusually large wolf pelt because we want to convert them into gear, so no deal. Sorry, man. I don't need 500 crowns. It's barely anything right now. Right, where's this fallen keep? There it is. It's on a hill. If it's on a hill, it means it's not undead. I don't think you get undead fights on the hill. Let's see who's... We just had a midday tick. Let's see if anyone's healed. Uh, since we're camp busting, we're going to need our alpha squad. So you come in for him. You come in for him. Meat shield. Heavy tank go in for the meat shield. Don't need the two heavy tanks next to each other. So the heavy tank on the end. Two killers there. That's fine. The good light tank. Well, they're both about as good as each other now. But he's a noob. He's about, he'll, be, he'll be better when he's max level. So there are two light tanks there and a heavy tank there. And then they've got a good attackers. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. 
save it because we haven't saved it in ages since I started actually. Yeah, it's brigands. 14 of them as well. That's fine. That's easy peasy. Uh, we want to move up to here. That would be a good position for him. We want to wait, actually. If they charge us, they charge us, and it's really stupid. We're not on the hill, so we want to wait. Ha-ha! <laughs> Radoslav now has proper armor. Your puny arrows do nothing. Oh, God damn it. He got rid of the bone armor on Kriegsman already. Oh my god, the leader looks like such a pleb. Casper the Cut Purse basically has some javelins, a heater shield, and some friggin' crap armor. I didn't even see what weapon he had. Hopefully he has an axe. Yeah, we want to stop that guy from throwing and your light tanks a charge. Go to there. Come up. Uh, definitely go to here. And there. You can come to there so you're not on high ground. Heavy tank can... Heavy tank can tank on against the high ground. No, he can come here. Doesn't matter. If they come on the low ground against these guys, it doesn't matter too much. And we can always rotate out with Anken and Phil. If necessary. Necessary! Is it necessary to drink my own urine? to hold. Uh, you can throw against him. Encourage him to come out of his hidey hole. Hey, it worked. Mm, 30% just shield wall. Okay, that's a stupid move. You leave my duelist alone. Uh, wait. Yeah, take the high ground. Good hit. Nice. Nice. Come here against the leader and that guy in shield wall. Uh, you're going to step, bump, and then step back so he can't really do much but hit you. Finish. Mm -hmm. Yep, thought that might happen. Uh, yeah. Another kill. 95%. Those throwing axes are awesome. Fucker. Okay. I'm just gonna get a throwing axe to death, but alright. Oh, that's a hammer. God damn it. The thing is, we could buy. Oh shit, that's not good. He's got a pickaxe. We could buy battle axes for our men to get them more powerful, but. Nice. I saying, but they're bloody expensive. They're like four or five k each. We can only buy two or three, and then we'd be out of money. It's just not worth it.
Huh, good boy. Good boy. I should have taunted with him, that was stupid. Don't you dare kill my dog. Still trying to fight, eh? Should have moved up someone up so he doesn't kill the dog. It's annoying. Hey, doggy got the leader kill. Yeah. That fucker's gonna get, get away as well. Oh no, the light tank's here. No, this fucker's dying for killing my dog. Oh, if the dog caught up with the other one, that's fucking annoying. Stupid. Oh, we can just say it's over. We don't want the dog to die. Not worth it. Hammer and arming sword, another kite shield, some crowns. Yeah. Not great. It said loaded with treasure. That's hardly treasure. We didn't even get a ring for it. We didn't get any treasure. Just got some money. What a joke. They only count like 200 crowns as treasure. Defense, initiative, and his health's fine. Fatigue. Uh, he doesn't even have shield master yet. He can shield master for more defense and also to um, stop his shield getting broken. So now at 58 defense, which is seven more than the, the higher level light tank. Which is very nice. Mm, repair that and that. Who needed another shield? Someone needed a shield. Oh, you can swap you for you. Oops, swap you for you again. You can stay out. You're still completely fucked up, really? Meat sack can swap for the heavy tank. Meat shield can swap for the duelist. Actually, no, I'd rather have a heavy tank gaining in levels than this crap light tank that we're going to get rid of. So. Oops. Capitals on. Crap light tank. He's only got 51 defense, which isn't very good. At max level. Oh, you can take that off and give that to him, actually. Now as well. Should you take that? 
you can take that off as well and give that to him because he's nimble as well and that's better armor he is a superior light tank now to this guy because he's got more defense slightly less initiative quite a lot less initiative actually does he not have why is his initiative so low 101 70, oh, because he's got two shields in his pocket. That's why. If we take the shields out like the other guy, he should have 101. Yeah, he should have close to that. Yeah. He's got more initiative because he's got four levels higher as well. Three levels higher. But yeah, we definitely need the shields in the pocket, even if that lowers his defense overall. Oh, uh, maybe just one. That's quite a significant low. Maybe not, actually. It's quite significantly low and there's quite a lot more fatigue. We'll have to get him a shield that just doesn't break. Not the not the one that doesn't break, not the invincible one, but like one with really high... I think I'd much, much rather just give him actually a, a metal one, because they've got 60. His defense only goes down by 3. His fatigue goes down by nearly 10 though. Ah, uh, we'll just know, we'll keep him as a light tank. He's a light tank, we know that he doesn't have a shield, he doesn't have spare shields in his bag. So neither this guy does neither, and his, he's been fine. We need to make sure this guy doesn't go against anyone with axes and he'll be fine. So light tanks can't fight axes, we need to remember that. Heavy tanks can because they've got spare shields in their bags. Uh, yeah. Take that for the moment until we can find you another long axe. Might as well give you some gear. Just because then we've got enough gear for one more meat bag. Yeah, I like that. So he's just a level zero meat bag. They're probably going to choose between him and him for the sacrifice. We're obviously going to sacrifice this guy. How's this guy? Good two-hander, level three. We, we're going to just change his name. He's not a sacrifice anymore. We need a new name, chat. Sacrifice, good two-hander. We'll call him Mario. Fuck it. Just first name that pops into my head for some reason. I don't know why. Um, what does he look like? Maybe that'll give us inspiration. Don't know who he looks like. Mario just doesn't fit right. It just doesn't. It was the first name that popped into my head because I don't know why. But it just was ruining the aesthetic of the game. A good two hand warrior. Berserker, some kind of thing. Guts. Um, he's not going to be that good, and he's a cultist as well. I'll call him Guts. Fuck it. That fits with the cultist theme and everything else. Okay. Uh, we've got all the noobs in. Yeah. Let's go to Burgau to pick up that contract. Lots of weedy gangers, many armoured weedy gangers. That's one for the noob squad, easily. Yeah, the noob squad can deal with this since it's en route. Be a ridiculously easy, long, boring fight. But we've got time and it'll get us some treasure. It's en route.
Most of these zombies don't even have weapons. So now we target down the zombies with weapons. You can wait until they're closer. Wait. to say during this fight, obviously, it's a case of just mowing these fuckheads down. damage for no reason. Really? <laughs> oh, Jesus doesn't have a cubby yet. Finish. You're taking way more damage than this should be, really, but I'm playing this so fucking lazily.
Fluffy battle, but whatever. We got some silver out of it. Super Gal. Oh, no wonder it was so easy. They spawned a load of zombies before we got there. What's this? Yeah, patrolling the road. No, we're going to do this contract. Hold slag. We'll repair en route and hopefully get there and um, get heavy throwing axes out of it. That would be nice. Everyone's fully healed apart from the two on the bench. It's also a fairly safe route as well. Like we go through Mooseburg, we go through Hindfest. There's all these companies around protecting us, see? Trading caravans. So we're all good. Fifteen barbarians, some thralls, some reavers are not gonna attack us apparently. Okay. Might go kill that, get some more heavy throwing axes. Oh, slag is well supplied. Oh, slag. Did you get. Oh, you did get heavy throwing axes. 30 to 48 damage. Oh, they're not very good. Contains ammo for seven uses, though. Oh, you can throw seven times before you reload. And they do 30 to 48 damage. So five to eight more, more damage, and you can, can you can throw seven of them. Right, we want this guy who's more accurate to have the the ones that um, you can throw shitload of, and then you want this guy to have the more accurate ones because he's got less accuracy. Only by a few though, literally only by four. So yeah. Nice, it worked. The plan worked, guys. First time anything's worked in this campaign so far. I'm super surprised. Super stoked. Super surprised. And super happy. Super duper fly. Oh, I needed that. Whoops. Just because it was low, it was low money, so it wasn't worth keeping in my inventory, I didn't think, but it is. Okay, so these aren't worth repairing, you don't get anything for them. Just the two-handed weapons, good to know. Wasted loads of tools on that. I've got 57 now. Tools are fairly cheap here though, so two, four, six, eight. Ammo. We only need another 50, so we'll buy one more 99. Yep, happy with that. Yeah, all good. Ooh, we got some skull work here. Two skull contract work is what? Uh, hunt web next? No thanks. Easy way to get a man killed for no reason. Follow the tracks for 1300. That's as high as it gets for a follow the tracks. Which means there might be a um, hero, a champion with them. There isn't. Just lots of raiders, some marksmen, and a leader. Can we do this with the noobs? I think we can. Put that noob there. Put this noob two-hander in instead of meat maker. So you've got the three two-handers in the middle. How do they all compare actually? Yeah, they're all pretty decent. Low defense, all of them. I'd like to have about 40 to 50 defense on my two-handers but they're they're still pretty decent they're all quite squishy as well because they're like fragile and stuff but you know whatever and then we've got the duelist and the crap light tank this is going to be a tough fight just because we're using our rookie squad but we should be able to do it i don't like the fact that it's day but they're not moving so what we're going to do is almost night time we're just going to camp until night since they're not moving, and then attack them at night. 
so that the crossbowmen are much more or a lot less effective. Oh good, it's not a necromancer either. 17 versus 12. Let's see if they come towards us. See if they're cocky. Their overconfidence will be their downfall. No, they're not. Shit. That's really bad. Is he on high ground as well? Are you kidding me with this? Wait, wait. I need to put the bird out first to see where I'm going. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can charge into the middle. Come back one, actually, yeah. You're a noob, so stay. We need to be careful in this fight. We can't just charge willy nilly like we normally do because we're not overpowered. In this fight, we've just got a bunch of noobs. Oh, I was going to release the bird, wasn't I? Fuck. Well, whatever. We can always see most of them. Lucky that hit his helmet, so barely did anything. Okay, so... Lube, light tank, and meat shield. Lube, light tank can go here. This is going to be really hard, actually. Just thinking about it, because none of these guys have much defense. None of our front line have much defense, and none of our back line have much accuracy. And that combination means that we're just going to get hit a load whilst not hitting them very much. And that is going to be bad. Why are you still there? I didn't release the bird. Let's have a full look at them all. Where's the leader? There he is. Oh, he's got a nice helmet. We'd like that helmet if we could get it. This is going to be a cliffhanger as well. There's 17 of them. We've only got 10, 10 minutes left in the... Com in the um, uh, what's it called? Episode. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. Uh, yeah, step to here and shield wall. 14% chance to hit this guy. 27% chance to... Oh, he doesn't have the increased throwing axes. Wait. So he might move forward. No, they're not. Yeah, I'm not liking this fight at all. This would be easy with the alpha team. Piss, piss easy, but with this squad... It's quite a tough fight. With 17 of them holding their piss position... And shooting shit and throwing shit at us. With spear walls activated. Go there and shield wall. Yeah, they are advancing. There we go. A 17% chance to hit. Jeez, wait, wait, wait. Really, even with the shield wall up, buddy? We're going to have to out-doggy them. That's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to doggy-do. Doggy, out-doggy, doggy-do. He can just stay here. He doesn't need to move forward into range of this guy. Yeah, wait, then decide what to do. You can taunt this guy. Uh, put out a doggy. See if it slows this guy down. It does. Perfect. Go for the head. Perfect. Biggest of A's. It's exactly what we needed. Just to cut these guys down as quick as possible. Go for another headshot. Uh, put a doggy out. Oh, he just instantly slew it. Of course he did. Well, it slowed him down for a turn. Oh, he gets a headshot. Here you go, you hero. Thirty-eight, 
they've got kite shields. We want them up here, basically. On the thrower up here, I think. Up top to deal with this duelist and all this lot. If I go here, someone can go here and he can go in. So just stay the way you are. That's a really good position for you. Let the leader come to you. You're tucked in there so they can only get two people in. Yeah, although that's an axe. I don't like an axe going against the light tank. No, Doggy's going to bleed to death now. Yeah, he's just going long. I'm just fucking mad at this guy. Thank you. Uh, wake. Someone else will take his place probably with 17 of them. Fill 53%. Yeah, go for it. Stacking nice damage. Mm, wait. Go for another attack. No. Get him out of the way. Good hit. You can come down and find this guy actually and just shield wall up. Should have fucking uh, finish. Should have taunted. That was a mistake. Don't want these guys to get on Bodo actually, so come down here. So you can get an adjacency bonus when you swing. We need to kill this guy as quickly as possible so the heavy so he can get back to his position. I shouldn't have moved him down, but that guy flanking wasn't a good thing. Uh, Doggy bleeds to death. You asshole! What are the odds? 68. Kill him! Kill him! Nice. Get him out of the way. Because this guy's coming in now. Oh, he went there. Okay. Well, the doggies did their bit and slowed him down for long enough. Shield wall. Yeah. fact there's seven of these is so good you just keep chucking for ages um 45 30 go for 45 oh Anghenfil you are just on fire my friend good hit shield wall up shield wall up double swing uh yes I want you on the leader you can handle the leader a lot better than the noob can Step forward. Nice work, doggy. Confident leader, I don't like that. With a sword as well, yeah, he's got a really high chance of hitting. Oh, 40. It's not that high actually, but he still hit twice. 41 shield wall. Oh, really? You got hit through that? Got hit through the. Oh, it's a flail, isn't it? Of course, it ignores shield wall damage, and it was a headshot as well. Kill this guy, please. Nice work. Good hit. Guys, exposed. Oh, lucky we ran out of the uh, ran out of the eleven throwing axes, seven throwing axes. Don't want the noob to charge. Don't want the noob to charge the archers, especially with that guy coming in. You're done. Don't want to lose you. So get behind the bush. 
Uh, you can't shield wall, so just stay. You can come up and start getting ready to sub out the leader. Uh, guts, I don't want you charging either. I don't want them on the high ground, so just leave them. They'll retreat off the high ground. No, stay there, okay. Shield wall on that guy. Oh, forgot he could do that. You're finished. Oh, he's got an axe. He's going to destroy the shield, isn't he? Fucking hell, everything's gone to shit all of a sudden. Now take the high ground, thank you. Shield wall. And you're done. You can come to here and help with that guy. You can come up and start getting ready to sub. That was a poor round. Everything went bad. We all got hit by missiles. The dog got hit. We got hit by the sword attack on a double. Uh, you can just go behind there. Fuck off. Oh, he nails the dog! You poor little doggy. Get on him, definitely. Shield wall for the leader. Set here, so you're ready to rotate out. Step up and kill. Finished. Masses can't hit. Doesn't have any more shield. Doesn't have a shield, so I don't want to advance on the archer. Oh, I've got another fucking double hit. Uh, really? For fuck's sake. Just kill this fucking idiot! He's fucking running! Don't hit the helmet. Oh, you fucking clowns are really pissing me off now. I'm trying to get this battle finished in this fucking turn. In this time. Within a time limit. And these fucking clowns just keep missing everything. Put him next to him, so... Thank you, fucking hell. <laughs> Shit, that heavy tank's gonna need subbing out. Oh, that had to miss, didn't it? Oh, good, he's going after the heavy tank. Like I thought, I thought he'd AOE and kill this guy. That would have pissed me off. Stop hitting the helmet! Just kill him, thank you. One thing you're taking too long, second thing, I want that helmet. Good, we got it, we got everything, good. Phew, made it just in time. Close one, now it's not a cliffhanger episode, guys. We could just end it there. I'll just sort this junk out. Uh, repair that, repair that, repair that, repair that. The 250, who gets it? You do. Which means you then get that. You can have... Noob two-hander can have that. 
And that's a 150, which no one wants apart from you. Nice. Levels. Good two-hander gets attack, defense, and health. Now we need to start putting up his resolve. He keeps rolling two twos. I don't think he's going to stop rolling twos. Sixty on level four. Yeah, he's going to backstabber. Uh, we're going to get him quick hands. Actually, he needs quick hands. Not immediately. Let's get him fucking student. Let's level him up quickly. Noob two hander level two attack, defense, and hit points. Uh, he's going to need fast adaptation as well, so fast adaptation. Nice. Oh, this guy's only got a bill hook. We should have given him a long axe. That was fucking stupid of me. I didn't even notice that. That would have helped out immensely against that leader. Oh well, whatever. We won anyway. Still not as easy. It's quite, it was easier than I thought it was, but look at all the damage we took because they're all noobs. This guy was missing loads. This guy was a noob. This guy's a noob. Uh, we want to repair some 90 armor, actually, and keep it in our inventory. And some 110. And a couple of helmets. And these nimble helmets. We want two of each. Yeah, nice. Right, guys. See you in the next episode, hopefully. If not, see you in some other content I produce. I make content almost every single day. So, Salway till next time.